Good afternoon, everyone. We're back here in in Frank's world, and uh, I just remembered we were looking around for uranium when I spawned in, so uh, I went ahead and did as I said last time and just did a quick search. I've passed by a couple of asteroids. Nothing of note so far. I did see a glimmer on this one, so I'm going to head. It's probably not uranium, but might as well take a look at it. Uh, let's make sure the ore detector's on. Alright, ore detector is on. Wonderful. Okay, so I did figure that um, it'd be a cool idea to go down to the surface of Mars, because in survival I've never been there. Oh, there's silver and ice. I don't know if silver is incredibly valuable, but I'll take it back anyways. And I might go grab that unknown signal, because I, I want a rainbow drill. And is that Bob making that horrible noise? Hold on. Oh. Uh, build and repair system. Oh, okay. Wow. It's not called Bob. What is this? What are we shooting at? We're shooting at a blue drone. I think it's going to be done before it gets here. Wonderful. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, it was shredded. Oh, I love that. Goodbye, blue drone. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, I don't think I can go salvage it. It's going by really quick. I'll go get that silver. I love that little Gatling gun. That was nice. <laughs> that was really nice. I picked I picked good timing to start recording. <laughs> Alright, well, I was recording the whole time because I've learned my lessons from the past, but... I picked a good time to start talking. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's trying to repair a solar cell. I think I may have whacked it on something. I don't exactly recall whacking it on something. Oh, set all the batteries to recharge. We're good. Alright, we're going to come in here. And let us let us get some silver. Oh, it's still the wrong way around. Four and then one. There we go. All right. So I'm I'm I, I want to get down to the surface. I've never been down to the to the Martian surface in. Uh, hold on. Well, oh, that sounds a lot better. There we go. <laughs> uh, the the game is still incredibly loud, despite me adjusting the volume settings and. Now all volumes at half. Actually, the game volumes at like a quarter. It's it's okay, it's really low on the bar. Let me show you. This is this is just easier to show. The game is like down here <laughs> in sound. It has so much further to go. I'm I'm just gonna have to turn it down even further, aren't I? Okay, we'll go with that. Because every time I load up this game, it's now just progressively getting louder and louder, and I don't. I don't really understand. I don't want it to be too quiet, though, to the point where you can't hear it. To the point where I can't hear it either. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now it's now it's a bit easier to hear. Now it feels like it's too quiet. But, eh, we'll see. I'm going to grab all this silver, though. I'm not sure if I was really hurting for silver, and I can't really get in contact with the base. It's a bit too far. <laughs> oh, I can build a laser antenna. I can build it on Mars and use Mars as, like, a... Uh, like a like a relay, so I can. I wonder if you can do that. I wonder if if I have a laser antenna on my, or if I have a normal antenna on here, a laser antenna on Mars pointed at the laser antenna on the base. If those would be, if those would be able to communicate, you know, I would assume yes. But I would, I don't know if I would be able to connect to the faraway base through that antenna. I'm not sure. That'd be really cool though. All right, let's let's just go until we've kind of pushed through the silver. I don't want to, I don't want to outstay my welcome. Especially especially to where um, especially to where the drones are uh, concerned. There we go. Oh, going the wrong way. Still there we are. Okay. So I'll just I'll just hit a couple more rocks and then I'll jump back to the base so I can. I don't know if this can land on Mars. I think okay, Mars does have an atmosphere. And I'm not sure if this is powerful enough to take off, and I don't want to try it. Because as much as I like the idea of just kind of going to Mars, and eh, what if, if it happens I have, you know, assemblers and stuff. This ship doesn't have anything. This ship is like bare to the, uh, bare to the bones. Is the barest of bones. It is, it's so small and can hardly do anything. And I feel like I need to build a proper ship for Frank's world. Uh, other than Frank, of course. Maybe something that can dock to Frank. Or like a dual Frank. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Oh, let me not point at the asteroid we're flying towards. Actually, let me just point away from it. I'm just not going to hit it. We're <laughs> we're not going to go anywhere near this this rock. I I 
I've done that too many times in my space engineer's career. <laughs> and uh, it always ends horrible. And I end up pointing at the rock again. I'm just pointing right at the edge of it. I, I don't, for some reason in my head, it's not working to point like ever so slightly out, outside the rock. Okay. Hello, our little asteroid. It looks like you have some, hold on. Looks like you have some, probably magnesium. Let's see. Uh, that's ice. That's definitely ice. Okay. We'll just fly by that one. We'll go, we'll go pick, we'll go pick another one. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll start getting, okay, here, let's press F. Figure out where I am, because I'm now facing in a wonky direction. Let's, let's find our, let's find our down. Where is our down? There's Mars. Mars is our down. And then we're going to point towards the alien planet, because that's pretty cool. Actually, our, where we're going is that planet. No, nope, that's the moon. <laughs> that's Mars's moon. We're that far from home. We are far from home. All right. We're going to point in that direction, and we're going to go in the GPS, and we're going to turn on a far be gold. No, near be gold. Gold be near. There we go. <laughs> oh, pirate speak. We're 2,000 kilometers. It's not bad. <laughs> it's, that's, that's pretty far. I'm not going to walk that distance ever. Um... Let's go ahead and get our jump drive and set it to... Oh, it has all the GPS locations. I forget I don't need to turn these on. Um, cool cliff asteroid. That is pretty cool. Magneroid. Farby gold. Let's see. Oh, I can go straight to the respawn pod. I can just jump to the respawn... <gasps> That's cool! I'm, I'm just jumping to Frank at this point. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Um, I don't know if... Here, let me, let me grab... Let me grab respawn pod this number. <laughs> oh, he's, 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 this, he's the same place. Okay, cool. So I'll go ahead and turn these off, and then... Can I just rename this Frank? Will it, like, ruin it? Frank. <laughs> Alright, wait. Frank deserves a little smiley face. Boop. Oh, I can't handle... Okay, what? Illegal data. So it doesn't like... What symbols does it like? Okay, it, mi it doesn't mind those. Can I make a face with these? Um, oh, here we go. Those are probably accepted. And then, what makes a good smiley face? A U. <gasps> Yay, it looks cute. <laughs> I tend to use this one a lot, but I like, I like that. That That's adorable. It's Frank. <laughs> Hello, Frank. You're all the way over there. It's still called Respond Pod. Well, to me, it's Frank. All right. Well, something in that direction, then. What's what's in that direction? So we're just kind of generally there. That's far. That rock over there is really far. Um, oh, you know what? We can use our camera with zoom to kind of look at these things. Oh, boy, look at that. That model is very uh, far away. How about something kind of in that direction? Not, not much is in that direction. Um, I think we've been there. How about, how about, yeah, yeah, let's just go for the far one. <laughs> I have I have a like this gut feeling about the far one. Let's see. Come on the far one. Don't betray me. We're we're going to accelerate to you at maximum velocity. And and probably not much is going to happen. There's probably going to be ice or something on you, but you know, I'll try. And there's something to the left of it. It's kind of glimmering there. Like a ship does. That might be uh, another uh, what do you call it? Mayday. Let's see. Uh, let's get up to our speed, and then I'll use the camera. I just want to make sure I'm to speed in the correct direction. All right. Oh, why are we rolling? Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's towards the respawn pod. That's that small rock to the side, and then to the left. There's the glimmer. I see it. What is it? Oh, it's another rock, just even further away. That's ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> it looks like it's, like, pulsing. Because the, the, the way the light's, like, reflecting off of it, it looks like it has, like, this little circle around I don't know if you'd be able to see that with the compression that YouTube does to it. But either way, pretty cool. Uh, oh, I have a front camera. That must be... No, that's the bottom camera. Okay. Um, let's zoom that back out so I don't get all disoriented and hit the Windows key because that's how things work. And then, I, for some reason, I was going to press F6. Oh, hey, F6 takes you out of the camera, too. No way. F5, F6. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's that's good to know. All right, is that the rock that was super far away? It might be. Okay, that's not too bad. 
All right, I'll see you when I get there. I'm just kind of kind of mentally planning how I want to how I want to go about this. I'm thinking I might do a um well, I'm definitely going to do a Mars ship, but do I want to build a Mars rover or something to fly around on Mars? I don't think I've flown on Mars in Space Engineers. I know I've like take, taken ships, copied them, um pasted them on all three of the planets just to see if they would fly. And then I've flown around to in in uh in the in the jetpack just to kind of look at the the flora because they look pretty cool but i don't think i've done that to mars because i don't think mars has any significant flora i think mars is mars <laughs> very red very uh, sandy or sandy i don't know what you would call that dirt and rocks but not earth dirt would you call that dirt i don't know because the 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 dirt air quotes on the moon i believe is called regolith so what is Mars dirt called? This is something I could I should Google. I, I'm I just came up on the asteroid, so I'm probably not going to Google it right now. Uh, there's a light patch of some blue material right there. That was risky. Uh, that was ice. Oh, no, oh, really? <laughs> this thing I'm I'm going all the way over here, and this like this little this big little this little big journey, and it's just ice. Well, well, <laughs> we tried. Um, okay, I'm gonna go in this little this little canyon here. We'll call it we'll call it Beggar's Canyon. <laughs> and and this is home now. No, I'm kidding. Um, let's see. No, just ice so far. Okay. Aw, I was I had a really good feeling about this asteroid. I I had a feeling of of there being of there being uranium. I'm like there has to be something, and it's gonna be like far away from the planet. You know, I know they're not hand placed, so, but they're they're just like a rare spawn. Oh, look at that! It's all dark. Okay, we need it. We also need a better ship for doing these kind of things. The the duck ship is is suffices, but it's it's also not very. Oops, I just drained all my air. Sorry. <laughs> duck ship suffices, but it's also extremely bare bones. I might keep it as like a like a little scout. Uh, I think this just ice down here. Yeah. Okay. Not too much in the way of stuff that I would like. Okay. That's that's a okay. Well, we're, we're right over here is a little cluster. We're going to go to this local little... Oh my gosh, look how small this ship is. <laughs> look how big this asteroid is. Oh, what is that? Is that ice too? Yeah, it is ice. Okay. From from a distance, it looks kind of kind of funky. It looks lighter than, than, I, than I'm used to. I think that's just the, the light on the planets and stuff. Uh, let's get over here and get in, get inside, and, what am I, <laughs> I have latched on to the, to the walls here, I'm gonna float in, no, last time doors killed me, not, not in here, but I think I've had doors kill me before, <laughs> last time, last time I, I stood like that in a door, I just, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, push the door to shove me into the room, nope, nope, just dead, <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and turn our backs to those exactly, and we'll switch into the camera because it looks all cool. Those are really low, low poly models. I wonder if uh, I wouldn't. I don't know if you'd call them models because they're voxels, but they're not very detailed. Well, that one is pretty detailed. There's material on the side there that is an interesting color. That's either like a yellowish or like a grayish. Okay, and then over there. I just decided to use my camera to start looking for ores. This was probably the best thing I've done for a while. Oh, that looks like a like a city. Like a city from, from in orbit. Okay. And this one definitely has some iron. If you can see it flickering. Uh, there's the two large ones on the bottom. It's kind of in the center. There's a little bit of iron just illuminated in the center. Okay, so that one definitely has iron. We're going to go for this one. Because I believe at the top of that might be some uranium. This good feeling might have paid off. All right, F6 because for some reason F is it just, F just feels uncomfortable because I feel like if I tap it, I might like be nervous at one point and double tap it and and get uh ejected from the craft. <laughs> I don't know if I've done that, but it, it feels like I've, it feels like something I would do. <laughs> All right, so this rock isn't isn't very far away and this cluster is really big. So I might have to search every single one of these rocks. This this cuts into my this this cuts into my Mars creation, my Mars ship creation. 
But it does give me more time to think about it. All right, what do we got? What's up here? Silicon. Yep. <laughs> uh, I thought it'd be something cool, but instead it's what most of Earth is made of, I think. I think silicon's like the top, like number one element. That That's something else I have to Google too. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not sure. But yeah. That's, oh, okay. I thought it was uranium. I was excited for a moment. Right, let's slow down and let's try to get a little bit closer. Because I feel like I'm not that close. Oh, what's that? That's dark. What are you? And something else just popped up there and then it disappeared. Oh, that's more silicon. Dang it. <laughs> I feel like I need more uranium to get like a reference. But I've never seen the, I've, I've seen the ore before. But I've never seen the new, I know I have seen the new ore. I've spawned it in. And like dropped it on something, <laughs> just just for fun, just to kind of see, you know, how it how it acted. Didn't do anything. Just bounced off of it, and I dropped it from higher and higher, and it kept bouncing off of it. <laughs> so then someone 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 I think commented that um, the ores were. Oh look, I'm zoomed in on Mars. See, okay, the Mar the the camera has refocused me. Go to Mars, Joseph. <laughs> it is your destiny. <laughs> All right then. We will we will head home. We will head back to Sublimation Base and ignore that. I'm going towards it. Hold on. <laughs> it's definitely silicon, but I'm going to fly right past it anyways. Yep, look at it. Wow. <laughs> All right. Preparing to jump. Oh, we can't jump into a gravity field. Well, it's a good thing I wasn't in a pinch when I needed to do that jump. Oh, great. Now that looks like that says Frankie. <laughs> um Let's see. Uh, jump drive, please. I thought I called it a jump drive. Okay, how about... Uh... Where's the jump drive? Is it called a hyperdrive? Oh, there it is. Number one jump drive. <laughs> For some reason, I wasn't scrolled to the top. I was scrolled to the flight seat like that. Okay. Uh, well, we can try to jump to Frank. We can't jump to Frank. He's too, uh... He's too in the, in the ground. So if he's... 2,000 kilometers away? Okay. Oh, yeah, I would jump right in. <laughs> I would jump right through him. Let's not do that. Let's go back to the jump drive. Let's turn off uh, GPS coordinates. Let's do a blind jump at 19 kilometers? Or 19,000 kilometers? It's probably like a, a bigger... Oh, this is percentage. Okay. I wish I could set distance. That'd be very nice. Okay, 19.04 kilometers. Let's try it now. Hold on. Let me point more at the base. There we go. So I only have about 85 to go. That seems pretty far. Okay, hold on. Let's try to get as close as, like, possible. Let's go, like, 1977. It's 10 kilometers. That definitely be over the moon. Yeah, let's do that. that. That'll be okay. And our, our jump is a little bit askew, but that's okay. Or askew? It's just a little off. It's not centered. It's a little bit to the right. <laughs> and we're over the moon. All right, with 11 minutes of power remaining. That jump drive, I'm going to turn off the charge for the jump drive. Uh, turn off recharge. Thank you. All right, I got 25 minutes of power just so I can have enough time to to go ahead and do all of my flying. <laughs> I'd rather not abandon the duck ship. I'm going to reuse its hyperdrive here soon. Or its hyperdrive. It's jump drive. <laughs> all right. I will see you when I'm back at Sublimation Base, or at least close to it, so we can get a good little... Oh, that's the other side of the moon. Hold on. <laughs> I have to fly to the other side of the moon. <laughs> but I will, I will see you when we're back at least close to it. Oh, we're coming in close. And I, I've just finished asking Google the um, 500 knots, 2 meters per second. And that is um, 200 and... Oh, great, I forgot it again. But 200 meters per second, that wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> I wouldn't mind just 100 more. That'd be pretty fun. But also, you know, there's speed mods, so you can just add 100 more. And mods are super easy to add in this game. Just like, uh, like Gary's mod, where you just kind of add them and they'll... They'll load up when you're playing. Oh, they'll load up so you can play with them. Oh, there it is. There is uh, <laughs> Sublimation Base in all of its glory. I wonder if um, 
systems like systems like this function when you're like if the solar panels collect sun and charge the batteries when you're so many kilometers away. It looks like that drill's been doing work. It looks like it's been going down a little bit too quick though, and it's gotten through the ice, so that's not bad. Oh, I think it's done. Ah, that's it. We've gotten through all the ice, so the drill's been working, so it it must have been uh the base must have been simulated while we were gone, which is pretty cool. We now have lots of ice, and presumably lots of hydrogen, which will help us with our Mars descent, because I'm also not sure if it has... It doesn't have much of an atmosphere, but I'm not sure in, if in here we can use atmospheric thrusters. I think they're only good on uh, Earth and the alien planet, if, if I remember correctly. And I also think this is now too big to get into... Um, what do you call it? This is now too big to get into the hangar of the base, which sucks because I'd love, I love, I would love to build like a huge hangar to put ships in, but it's so big. Like, I need to produce so many blocks, <laughs> and, and it's just so much to do. Oh, oh, I almost did that perfectly. I didn't realize how close I was, so maybe not that kind of perfectly. But oh, I'm, I'm gonna need my, I need my little dashboard here. There we go. And then uh, we'll go ahead and turn dampener. Oh, dampener's automatically turned off. And then we'll go ahead and tell the uh, the jump drive it may recharge. All right, go ahead and recharge the jump drive. And we picked up silver, which is I think what we might have been missing for Frank's thrusters. So let's let's go ahead and I can jump five kilometers with <laughs> with the whole base. Just take the base five kilometers. <laughs> That'd be cool. What is the mass of it? Oh, it's slightly lighter than my uh, than my than my big ship from the exploratory survival series. Oh my gosh, this thing's tiny. It just feels like that ship is so huge, or it feels like this is so huge. Okay, let's go check on these drills. Uh, they're jammed up on some rocks that I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, it's the oh oh funky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't know that was they were they are so close to hitting that. That's amazing. I wish there was some sort of offset I could do, but that's okay. I'll just bring them up. And the bobs were probably feeding them with tons of uh whoa, whoa, yeah, tons of materials to make sure they don't fly off. Cuz they are, do not look happy <laughs> cuz that that rotor is, has been pushing on them for quite a while. Uh we'll go ahead and turn the drills off so we don't waste power. Um, well, D-R-I-L-L. -L. There we go. All the drills on the base can be turned off. And then we'll leave that advanced rudder rotating. Because you know, it kind of looks cool to have something just spinning there. Alright. And then let's get in. Let's let's get into it. Let's... I put a safety wall up here? Really? Oh, good. Now I can't run off the edge. <laughs> uh, let's turn off all these signals. There we go. I don't think we have too much to deal with. And that's a bad door to go through. Oh, how are we on ice? Let me check these. Uh, ice. There is no ice on this base. Really? I figured I was going to grab a ton of ice. These are half full. I guess they were empty before, right? Or at 5% before? 65%. Did I leave any hydrogen engines on? Hold on. Off off. Oh, okay. Huh. I guess uh, that was all the ice it grabbed. <laughs> I should have gone for a different approach because this hasn't done what I was expecting. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, getting distracted again. Let's go ahead and uh, build up a Frank with his engines and everything. Um, the red spots, what are those? Is that structural to keep the to keep Frank together? That might be. Those might be structural. I don't remember. Huh. We'll have to. We'll have to see. <laughs> and we'll, we'll we'll redo his engines, or maybe we can switch him to hydrogen. Have a hydrogen Frank. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, I think. You just have have big hydrogen thrusters. No tank though, and it'd probably be very slow. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with the 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 ion thrusters, and then this giant ladder of. Of one day I might not have enough <laughs> thrust to get up there. Oh man. Okay. Well, let's get inside. Let's get inside. We've we've been out for a while. It'd be very nice to come inside. All right. Easy's doors doing their work. Wonderful. That that hole down there. 
<laughs> and then I'll, I'll heal up a little bit because I, I got pretty hurt. All right, there we go. And as with always, the battery's just about dead. Oh, fully depleted in 26 minutes. Oh, that's not exciting. Uh, or that's exciting. Uh, what do we got? We have... This is refining a lot of silver, cobalt, magnesium. Okay. <sighs> of course. <laughs> we don't have... We don't... We have... Oh, hey. Uh, Frank's cargo container hidden and locked has thruster components and reactor components. Uh, I would love to make some more thruster components, actually. Okay, we needed platinum. That's probably what we need. Because we don't need silver for it. Um, platinum. Don't have much platinum there. And don't have much platinum there. And I flew past platinum on the way here. Dang it. There's a lot of it that I just don't have. And then gold as well. Right? Is it, is it also gold that I'm missing? I think I had to go pick up gold a couple times. Yep. Also gold that I'm missing. Okay, it looks like our Mars plans are a little bit delayed. Um, instead of solving the power issue, I'm just going to chuck a bunch of solar panels on here. We're, we are going to become, like, super solar. And then and then I'm going to redo that, that, that drill, and then I'm going to... Hmm, I would really like to be able to have enough minerals to go. I might take the duck ship back out to go get more material. Um, let me tell the jump drive to stop charging. Yep, there we go. That'll, that'll probably help reduce the load on the system. Uh, let's check out the, um, the batteries. There we go. About four hours. Okay, we got a lot more time out of it now. Uh, I'm going to go and turn off this rotor. Uh, where are you? Hey, we're running out of power. That's wonderful. Uh, this advanced rotor. No, not turn, don't turn it off. Just stop. Uh, velocity stop. There we go. <laughs> All right, and then way down here is the platinum. All right, this is this is the platinum around us. Yeah, this is the platinum. Okay, I might be able to uh, add a piece in here, just so I can have a drill go down similar to that one and grab all that platinum, and then uh, how do you say? And then this is so weird looking. That's just because the the little space is in there, huh? I did something similar when I was testing all the drills, and it didn't occur to me right now when I was doing it. I do like my uh, my timer-driven ones, but those are so hard to set up. I know there's there's that script, but I didn't. I don't remember what it was called. <laughs> and I could go. I could just go look, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tear this down. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm yabbering on, but I haven't gotten to. Uh, to what I need to do yet. So let's find our grind. We'll set the current build color to that. This is this is this lovely pink, the pink of grind. Okay. And we'll oh <laughs> I withdrew everything I needed for something. Alright. Knock all that down. Take off that drill. That as well. That too. As well as that. The rotor. And the piston. <laughs> and the piston head. Alright, cool. Do that, and then I'm going to build a little thing so that I can, uh, so I think ignore color was that just box standard red. No, it's a slightly pink color. Uh, shift P. There we go. I'm going to come off of here with, uh, what was in my build planner? What did I pick up? I picked up a lot of interior plates, so I'll just use these <laughs> to build along. And we'll come along just, just over the platinum. And then I'll make make a little thing for it. Um, actually, I should drill like a test area. Is there platinum this way? Definitely looks like a no. <laughs> There's no platinum that way. So the only platinum is looks like. Hold on. In that area over there, towards this direction, towards uh. Towards the rotor. <laughs> rotor word. Okay. I wonder how... Oops. Wait. Why is Bob building it? Oh, he's building the, the rotor head because... Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. And if I take this, how far do I have to go down before I get to platinum? We're going we're gonna to try to figure out an area that we need to, to construct. And I hope Bob just kind of picks up this ice as I go along. It's going to take a little while, though. <laughs> oh, man. We go ahead and crouch. Just 
punch through the ground here. Do, 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 do. All right, just gonna right click, bro. Found it. <laughs> I didn't take too long. Uh, I'm gonna mark it because it's over here. I might have. To, I'll just go up. There we go. Oh, hey. All right, the platinum ends. Doesn't even end there, so it continues this way. So platinum's in a pretty big area, so I can grab a lot of platinum. <gasps> hey, you weren't supposed to build those. Oh, those weren't the ignore color. <laughs> Whoops. Those were those were just a color. And these are out of range of the bob for some reason. Are you, are you okay? You just everything's slightly out of range to you. I think so. Okay, let's really. Why are things out of range? Um. Well, for this one, it should be. Okay, let's just show its area. Oh, well, it's in range. It's right here. You can't you can't grab it. Okay, I'll, I'll come grab it for I'll grab it for Bob. Uh, was it draw middle click? Nope. Shift middle click. Nope. Alt middle click. Yes, there we go. It's alt middle click. I just don't like using alt because it also controls the camera, and it can shove your face straight down. There we go. Especially if you move your mouse before it's before it's ready. <laughs> there we go. All right, so everything's taken out, and shouldn't I didn't have to come out that far, and I can turn off that show field for Bob. Let's go and not turn him off. Show. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Show area. There it is. Okay. Correctly in the in a good spot, and then these ones I'll also tear up real quick, <laughs> and then I'll connect to all of the Bobs and try to figure out. Uh, what their color is. All right. Um, ignore color. It was yellow the whole time, huh? All right. Wait, hey, hey, hey. I didn't tell you to cut it up. Oh, I think I did weld. Oops. I, I just picked its weld color. <laughs> weld color was, oh my gosh. Cause oh, I set that to the current build color. Oh my gosh. Well, what was the ignore color then? Yeah, no, this was this was it. Okay, I I picked the grind color. This was the ignore color. Oh, not for that bob though. This bob has a different ignore color. Well, that's that's simple fix. I can just go ahead and set this one to that. So yeah, I just realized I want to cut this this conveyor frame, but all that's gonna fall off, and the support structure is for none of that. I don't know why I built that support structure. So I'm gonna build like a cool little. You know, pillar-looking thing that's that's going to. Um, here we go. Oh, all components successfully drawn. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and build like a a little thing that holds a bunch of pillars that that'll connect this way at the other end. <laughs> you know what? I should do it on top because I'm never drilling off the top. And then I'll do like a a change so it changes down. Uh, let's get uh, pillars. There we go. Like a support pillar. And then we'll do, oh, I just replaced that same block. There we go. And we'll do this kind of thing. And then this down here, <laughs> it kind of looks weird already. I was trying to make it look cool. It's starting to look a little funky, but that's okay. All right. I'm just going to build a big stick to hold this up. I was trying to figure out what a nicer way to do this was, but then I realized I don't particularly care. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, I was trying to make it look nice and I was like, I don't, I don't, I'm not too great at making things look nice. I'm just gonna, just gonna build it. All right. Well, I am going to cut this one out just so, just so that it's consistent. Oops. <laughs> so it's, these are solid just so it doesn't look better, but it, it'll work a little better. All right. Now let me recolor them because I, I forgot to color them. All right. They're green. Green's nice. I do like green. And we'll, oh, I forget. These are the same grid. Dang it. So this pole is now green. That's okay. <laughs> uh, those interior blocks just got colored green, though. So let's go ahead and stop that. And I'll go ahead and... I don't want to lop these off. I really don't. Um, we'll go across. I can't go across. This wasn't a great idea. Uh, but I can lop this off right now. All right. Oops. Dropped all that. Hopefully the bob picks that up. That's nah, not too important. All right, then we're gonna put a actual green junction here, and then I'm gonna lop this one off, and all of these. Oh, we're just leaving one interior plate just floating in the air. Oh, we're just gonna watch them. 
Oh, they already all fell or got picked up. Okay. Now I can deal with the... Oh, energy. Forgot about the energy. I should go recharge before I run out of power. All right. Hold on. Let's get us some juice. There we go. And we have power. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to build up this, this new mining apparatus. Because mining is always necessary. And, uh, well, I should start here, but I need to know where here is. Well, I already know the, the area, so I'm just going to lop these down. What is my inventory full of? And I shouldn't have put a conveyor junction. Oh, I can easily fix that. Uh, first, I gotta empty something from my inventory. Uh, a hundred of those. That'll, that'll clear up some space. This, these should always be cargo containers. Just because I'm always flying around and I need to access them. It might not be good design for other people, but for me, it's extremely useful. Um, let's hit seven here and find our conveyor tube. There we go. And we'll pop it out to the point where we get right over that hole once again. There we are. And then we're going to go, what was it? A cargo container. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Another cargo container. And then I'll do the, uh, the rotor up top or at bottom. I forget what was the most stable. I think rotor at bottom was most stable, just because there were less parts spinning. Okay, and then I'm also going to take this piston and rise it up. It's a good thing I left it here, because I don't think we're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of room otherwise. Alright, this piston's now brought up quite a bit, and we're going to need to figure out how many pistons we need to get down there. Alright, well let me just shove my face down here. Okay, I'll leave a little marker, and uh, we'll call it bottom and we'll go how far how far away are we from the bottom I'm thinking I'm gonna need two or three pistons maybe all right let's see I, I don't see it up oh, HUD there we go that's platinum oh 53 meters down 30 to there but 53 probably to the bottom of the platinum I can see that the bottom down there 27 30 okay so each piston extends 10 meters. It takes up three. I think we'll have enough room for them. Okay, this this won't be bad. I'm going to make sure the pistons extend 10 meters because I'm not entirely sure about that. It Yeah, 10 meters. All right, so let's do five of them. Uh, let's build them in the ignore color first. Uh, oh, great. I have the ignore color everywhere. Can I default that? Then I'll just go pick up the ignore color again, which is great because the car container has a control panel. All right, um, Bob. Let's see. Nope, that was the... See, I scroll one one scroll, and it sets me already down there. Okay. Do they ignore color? Well, let's grab pistons first. Uh, we do need a conveyor junction to turn, or a conveyor block to turn. We don't need that. We don't need that. Okay. We'll try to do five, maybe six. One... Oh, builds the head, of course, two. Oh, we might even be able to do three. We might only be able to do four, actually. Hmm, that's not too bad. We still have to put a rotor and uh, the rest of the material, or the rest of the thing. Uh, this is an advanced rotor, good. And then we need to do a turn. Let's do a turn. Let's do... Yeah, let's do a turn. I'm like, let's do a two-way or a three-way one, but figured we might run into some issues. And then this one got built. Okay. Oops. Take that. Oh, I accidentally scrapped that by grinding it. If I grind the construction command, oh, it just del deletes it. Okay. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and let the bobs build these up, and we'll change them to black. Ooh cool now it's all it's all extra cool okay and then we'll go ahead and uh, do the drills off the side because I hope there's enough room oh there isn't it's barely too okay so once that rotor is done I'm gonna pull it up there we go it bugs me that the head of the piston has something but the side of the rotor doesn't it, it's confusing it's like why why isn't it, why isn't there a control panel there <laughs> Alright, this rotor that I'm accessing from, why does it go straight to the jump drive? Okay, this advanced rotor, we're going to pull you back 40 centimeters, and maybe that's enough to plop a drill on there. I'm looking at it, it doesn't look like it. 
No, not enough. Not enough at all. It's so close, though. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm going to make a little little line here. Just going to right-click drill the ice. It's a bit of a waste of ice, but it's not that much ice. Okay. I'm going to build out maybe three or four. Let's do... Let's see, we got four already. Let's do five. Just because I'm not going to get any ice from that one, but I'm going to get platinum from that one. So that, that's a good good thing that I kind of want from it. All right. That works for me. Not not too hard to do. And then we'll take the our new stack of pistons, which I should actually remove the other pistons from the base because this starts to, get, um, starts to get confusing which ones are which. All right. One of these, or some of these, are the pistons that I need. Oh, boy. Okay. I, I'm going to figure that out, and I'll be right back to you. Alrighty, everything is labeled and set and ready to go. I'm just going to go ahead and start it up. We'll grab the pistons labeled A through D. And we'll go ahead and set them to reverse. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have switched their, their speed. <laughs> How come they're so fast now? Oh, I only switched the one speed. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I was just wondering why they just shot out of there. Okay, well, we'll turn on the drills first. Uh, drills, labeled A through... What, drilb? Oh, okay, okay, there we go. They're labeled A through E, but one of them is kind of set funny. We'll grab our rotor. We'll go ahead and turn off its inertia tensor and unlock it. Uh, we're going to try for maybe 1.25, maybe just one. It's not too bad. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and turn on all our pistons. And eventually we'll have a quite a few, quite a bit of platinum. <laughs> oh, you know what they do? It does need to go a bit quicker. Um, rotor. You're going to swing around and be all funny. Wrong rotor. Uh, let's go 1.5. 5, 5, sure. It's a bit quick. That's just gonna just gonna whack a little bit. Oh oh yeah, that's that's fighting. Okay, that's gonna break something. That's not gonna end well at all. Okay, hold on. Rotor. <laughs> Let's go one point two six. It's a lot slower. One point five. Um, no, four five. It's almost one point five. No no two six. I like two six better. Whoa whoa whoa. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Back to the rotor, please. I, I'm just, I keep changing it. <laughs> there. I don't remember the, the best one. I, off the top of my head, I could just quickly bring it up or go to a world where I have a good working one, but... And now this piston is extended about half a mile. What are you doing? Why are you 1.6 meters and the rest of them? Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Energy. They haven't been reversed yet. And then this one was already reversed. Oh, boy. I messed I messed that one up pretty good. All right, now it's all set and good to go. Okay. I spent, I spent way too much time on that for some reason. For some reason, it's always the drills. It's always the drills that I, I love doing, but I spend way too much time on. All right, let's go ahead and recharge and re-everything here. Um, Power-wise, we're not doing extremely well, but very soon we shall have uh, another large solar array that I'm going to protrude off the side of the base. So let's go ahead and nab everything we need. Let's let's do this properly. Let's grab... Um, well, we have tons of steel plates, so... Uh, we'll still grab the wheels, though. They look pretty cool. All right, we'll grab the one-by-one -one wheels. We'll grab a block. We'll grab rotors. We need two advanced rotors, I believe. Just rotors. I'm not sure. Let's check on what's up there. Just rotors. And then many, many solar panels. <laughs> Alright. Solar panels, and we'll try for the medium one as well. Just so we could have extra at the end or something. So this, this array consists of... Uh, six... Six plus... Okay, this consists of quite a few panels. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and stick one a little bit further this way and a lot higher. So we'll go ahead and just kind of come out here. 
more base renovation going on. I'm going to go to the end of this little uh, little thing here. All right, it's going good. We're already through all the ice, it looks like, over there. It's wonderful. All right, and this might eventually be the roof to the base, but we can start going up now with our ignore color, which is this one. And we'll, we'll, I like, I still like the framed kind of look of this. <laughs> I managed to place one, not on the rest of them, and it's just gently falling towards their surface, and it just bounced off, and it destroyed itself. Okay, that's okay with me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, we're almost, we're almost to the, to a good height. I want to be extra high. So that I can get the sun after the sun sets on the old panels. This massive array. It's going to have power for days. Alright, I've used all the steel plates. I think I'm I think I'm I think I'm gonna be I think I'm gonna be good for that. Okay, so that's that's extra tall. Extra tall. We're gonna get with we're gonna get a lot more steel plates so I can build the oh, do I need girders to set up the solar panels? I don't know why all that's in there. Um well, first on, let me just go here. I need steel plates. Okay, so we're gonna grab a lot more steel plates. Plates of steel. Not from the control panel, though. <laughs> I do that a lot for some reason. Alright, it's steel plates. There we go. 294. I think that'll be enough. And are we inundated with stone already? Um, It looks like it. Uh, let's go ahead and set that to the priority to be refined. Hopefully they, they can just be kept fed. Because we're already full of stone. Well, that's not great. The entire base filled up with stone. What? Large cargo containers. Priority max ice. Oh, where's all, where'd all that ice come from? Oh, I guess from the when it drilled through the ice. And it's gone. Wow, that was fast. Hold on. Oh, all the generators are now packed with ice. Wonderful. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Um, we still have large cargo containers that haven't been stuffed with it. I think that I think they'll be okay. All right, so let me go ahead and build our massive solar array. Let's go ahead and make a nice little topper here. You know, we'll, we'll hold on. We don't need to ignore these anymore. It's a nice little topper. We'll do it in. We'll do it in yellow, like the sun. No, no. let's do it white. Kind of looks like a like a a wind turbine now. All right, we're gonna. Extend those out so we have this nice little platform way up top. The toppest of platforms. And then we'll go ahead and build the uh, the rotor in the center there. And place our, our side bits. Which I'm just going to extend out a little bit here. And then we'll place, if I remember correctly, yep, just, this, just the rotors in the side. I wonder how, how easily it handles two different ones. We'll see. Probably probably very easily. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and just make a big long line, maybe 24. <laughs> Behold, solar panel gargantua. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then I'm, I'm, I was, I was going to do two or three on top of each one, so we'll see how it goes. It'd be really nice if these were centered or if there was a centered variant or if I could just place them in small increments across an object. That'd be really cool if I can do a lot of things. Imagine if you can take an interior light instead of putting it just in the center, put it off over in the side, so that you can like maybe take a corner light and like scoot it over. <laughs> That'd be cool. But maybe for Space Engineers Two or something. All right, let me go ahead and panel up here. I think I'm gonna run into it there. But that's just one side. That's massive. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I'm gonna figure out what side it picks as the as the front of the panels, and then I'll I'll slam the oh slam I'll lay down the uh, the uh, what do you call it the medium ones along it. I'll have to get the centered ones. Oh no, not the centered ones. Just these these normal ones would be good. All right, cool. Let me let me go ahead and fill it, uh, head and finish this up. That's gonna get a second layer, by the way. Two layers, ginormous. Well, if you have no fear of sudden drops, this is kind of a, <laughs> a decent method to do it. That was a bit quicker than the other one. Not bad, not bad. I'm just worried about it impacting, so I'm going to have to shave off the the pieces there. What's wrong with my rotation skills? What what happened to them? No. Just like that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. 
It's beautiful. Look at this one. Look at this. One. This is so tiny compared. It's a little baby. This thing's. This thing is suiting for 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 my purposes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's gonna gather all of the sunlight. Oh okay. Okay. I need to. I need to. First, I need to get something to to charge me up, and then I need to switch the bobs so they can so they can reach it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I almost crashed into the wall. Uh, it's exciting. It's, it's extremely exciting. Um, are these still doing stone first? Yeah, they're still doing stone first. Wonderful. Kind of realize, it seems to realize what I was doing. That or it got through the rest of the materials? I don't think it did, but sweet. We are now gathering stone. <laughs> All right, let me turn this back on, the lights back on. Turn them off because of power issues and wow, this thing got down quick. I didn't think it would get down this fast. I thought it was going to, you know, hang up on something because it hates everything. <laughs> but no, that was, that was pretty good. Okay. I, easiest design wins. <laughs> my design is way too convoluted to set up. By the time you've set up one of my design, you probably could have dug this same hole. <laughs> and it would take that thing like hours to do that hole. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is much better design. Okay. Well... We, we live and learn. Um, let's go ahead and get to um, the this bob, this this the initial bob. I I can't access it anymore. Uh, just bob. There we go. Not bob two. No, just okay. <laughs> All right. We now have two bobs set to it. Just set to that same area. So let's go ahead and grab bob again and turn off the show area. And now we're going to watch the solar panels just become constructed as the sun rises. Oh, I need to turn on the script. I need to turn on the script like yesterday. Or I need to turn on the script. I need to call the rotors what they are and everything. Okay, let's grab the new rotors. Uh, the three incomplete ones. Very lucky. Um, we'll call them SRTRS, which shall be later renamed to solar rotors. Because these ones are just called solar rotors, but um, I don't know if I want to do that until they're until they're done con done constructing. Then I'll go ahead and call those solar rotors. So when the sun or when the sun is like barely starting to touch that one, this will already be completely covered with sun. I think that's gonna get shaded by the giant one at some point in the day. Oh, this is awesome! It's just so big. I'm going to finish these up as much as I can. I think I just have steel plates. I'm not going to be able to do too much, but I'll be able to help a little bit. There we go. I've, I've, I've helped. <laughs> it's just going to take these two bobs forever to put these together. So I think I should grab all the stuff I need for a couple of rotors. Uh, let's see. Rotors. Nope, not roar. Rotors. There it is. All right. We'll build three rotors. We'll grab control button click. Yep. Okay. Hopefully, oh, 950 other components can be withdrawn. What did it withdraw? <laughs> I don't know. Apparently something was missing. Probably the stuff for the last one. Yep, a couple of construction and tubes and all that. Hold on. There we go. Could not withdraw all the four large steel tubes. Why not? Are you just grabbing so many steel plates? Uh, I really shouldn't have done that with them, then with the steel plates. Uh, I don't have anywhere to put these. Don't hide empty. Show empty. Is there a show empty? Uh, components. There we go. Nope, there's 876,000 stone. Are we inundated with stone? Did I just go through the platinum inundated with stone? And there was no platinum on that side. That's not good. Uh, let's go ahead and retract the pistons. I really should have put this on a piston. Uh, pistons A through D. Go in reverse, and then we'll grab the drills. Oh, just all the drills. Turn them off. There we go. And I really hope I didn't pack everything with... Well, this isn't packed with stone. Oh, this is completely full of ingots, though. Uh, let's go ahead and check our uh, ice storage. Um, Pmax, that's what it was called. All right, these ones are also packed with stone. Platinum? Did we pick up any platinum? Did it all get... It all got eaten. Oh 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I picked up a ridiculous amount of stone. Didn't grab any platinum. <laughs> of course, of course I did. Oh gosh, of course. Oh, there was just so much. That picked up so much stone that I couldn't grab a single little bit of platinum. Oh, really? Okay, okay, maybe the, the refineries have it. There's nickel. Wonderful nickel. Platinum. There's that little bit. Combined with that little bit, doesn't combine, it's full of stuff. That one has two. Two kilograms. Five and 62. I just, just melted a bunch of platinum. Just disintegrated it. Well, luckily it was that tiny corner. It was probably all of this, to be honest. But... There's more this way, I think. Hold on. Yep, see, there's more this way. And there's more towards the thing. So, dang it. Dang it. Okay. Well, that's wonderful. Oh, I really thought... I really thought I wasn't going to, to do that. Okay, so now I need to figure out a way to... So, I'm going to build a cross, connect to that, put it on a piston, merge it, do all that convoluted merge thing and then uh, scoot it maybe to here if I can maybe just move it out on a piston there and then move it on another one there so it can be here or you know what? I could just delete all of these leave it connected with something else and then somehow scoot it over I don't know I'll figure out a way to move it in time uh, for now I guess we're dealing with the ridiculous amount of stone that we have okay <laughs> we'll have to get through that. I'll maybe need to make some larger, more large cargo containers. Oh, man. You know what? I should do that right now. I should go ahead and and uh, get the interior plates to make a whole bunch of them. Uh, interior plates. Just as many as I can hold. Can't hold that many when I'm holding a bunch of junk. Uh, interior plates, please. There we go. I don't need 152. I need, like, 10. And then a bunch of those and motors and computers so I can go, go, go build the... Uh, the other thing, but first the uh, large cargo containers. Hopefully they get auto named. I'll just name them ores. Uh, let's go grab you. Just ores and ingots. Yep, this works. Uh, so we'll go one. Nope, can't be that close. One. This is now the new storage area. Wonderful. It's kind of what it was eventually going to turn out to be, anyways. Cool. This new giant area at the bottom is for storage. <laughs> Alright. I'd like to see me fill that many large cargo containers with stone. Huh? How about that? <laughs> oh gosh, these are going to take a little while to do too. Especially since... None of the bobs have access to them. That one doesn't? Okay, none of these are, none of these are bobbed up. Oh, I guess this one might be... Somehow... Maybe Frank's Bob has access to it. That's probably it. And, ooh, are the batteries charging now? <gasps> the batteries are charging now. Oh, that's wonderful. Let me go ahead and get down here before I run out of energy and hydrogen, though. Let's get through here. I feel like I did grab a lot more ice uh, previously, but that was more over time. So that might be a different thing I'm thinking of. Um, let's go ahead and grab the bottles. Let's grab one. Oh, this is... Everything's full. I can't deposit things. Okay, let me go build stuff. That'll deposit things. There we go. This is this is running a bit long, but we've, we've accomplished a lot here. Alright, now these need to be solar rotors. Fly all the way back down! <laughs> Ow! Hit the ground pretty hard. Okay. And then... Uh, SRTRS, we'll call them, actually we'll just go Rotors, we'll copy your name, I wonder if it has to be a second group, I don't know, I'm just going to try to do it without without reading, this is probably a very silly thing to do, but I have just done it, uh, this is also a group called Solar Rotors, that doesn't work, that doesn't make sense, um, yep, the other rotors just got disappeared on me, huh? Um, let me uncomplete them, 
and that'll probably help me a little bit. Just kind of, whoops, just kind of chop through you there. Whoops, sorry, whoops, sorry. All right, now it'll be a very quick. <laughs> All right, and then let's grab the rotors, all the incomplete ones, and we'll, um, S-R-T-R-S. -R -R -S. And then let me do a quick read, and then we'll call it a day. Oh, okay, it's just all the all the rotors named. All the rotors, just put them in solar rotors. Okay. Uh, solar. Hold on. I'll just close that. Rotors. Did I? I did a thing. I removed all of the rotors from solar rotors because I deleted solar rotors. That was that was real smart. Now wasn't it? Okay. I'm well, gonna do the same thing to these ones because I'm a genius. <laughs> I've deleted the solar rotors group. Okay. Uh, solar rotors. Now the solar rotors group is back. Really? color me confused uh, but all of these are solar rotors except these two for whatever reason I don't even know what you you're attached to but you're locked okay and then these are on different grids what are the, what other things have rotors is it advanced rotor I, I don't know I'm gonna repair these though so they can get going there we go. I'm gonna head up top and repair these up here. There we go. You're repaired and Bob already got you. Cool. And Bob's doing these blocks before he does solar panels? We must be missing something for the solar panels. We're missing girders and a lot of them. Are we not producing girders? Is that the reason the solar panels haven't come together so quickly? That's That'll be easy enough to figure out. So easy script is so easy that you just name the whole group of rotors, solar rotors, not just the three individual rotors. And it can be just, oh wow, that's pretty awesome. Okay, and it just kind of figures out which ones do what. That's that's pretty amazing, okay. Um, so we now have the solar rotors, and the solar alignment is says, warning, rotor is a different owner faction, they all the same fraction. Okay, that's easy enough, set them all to me. <laughs> cool, cool, that's awesome, all right. And for production, we need lots of girders. We're missing iron. We have iron. Uh, assembler 6, Assembler 5, Assembler 7. Uh, we'll take 5 out of manual. Uh, assembler 5, take it out of manual. And uh, why, we're not missing iron. I know we have a literal ton of it. Um... Oh, there's a lot of iron there. There's a lot of iron there. Hmm. I wonder if it just can't stuff other stuff out and then all of the refineries. Please, be doing stone. We don't need to touch nickel. Stone is the most important at the moment. It's going to go straight to nickel. Yep. Drains the stone, goes to nickel. I don't understand. Okay. Um, so I need to go into the assemblers and move all of their stuff to a cargo container. All right, the assemblers are cleaned out. I'm going to go ahead and ask for a lot more girders. Uh, girders. It's set to 100. Okay, so it's just going to keep making girders at this point, which is good. Well, that that is a-okay. <laughs> I, I would very much like for all of these girders to be built. Um, Frank's Bob is working on these cargo containers. Very, very good, might I add. Wonderful. Now we have all these these blank cargo containers for ores and ingots. Basically for all the stuff we're going to end up mining. Alright. So we're going to copy this onto it. Actually, we're just going to copy the ores and ingots tag. That, that'd that be a smarter idea. Um, they're not... No custom data? Okay, cool. I remember. Not necessarily. But ores and ingots, those are all things that I seem to have a lot of. Alright. And then these ones without a conveyor? Okay, I'll look at those. Oh, they're probably because they're not done. All right, ores and ingots, ores and ingots, and then uh, once they're new, conveyor tabs. Maybe I'll just use those for other things. Wonderful. Okay. Oh boy, the array is becoming completed. 
<laughs> I was really hoping it to finish before the end, but I, I, I think I, I think I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to end it here. I've been doing this for for far far too long today. Um, let's see, it's gonna be it's gonna be ten already. Um, we got as many girders as going as we possibly need. I think I think we're I think we're in good shape, especially now that uh, all the stones probably being cleared out of everything. <laughs> now we can store the stone and oops, drop my phone. Don't have to worry about it. All right, all of this is set pretty well. I just wanted to see the 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 progress of the the ginormous array. So right now the battery is going to take three days to charge. I'm thinking when this is done, it might get down to three days. <laughs> this is it's just so big. Oh my gosh, this little itty bitty one just doesn't compare. Oh, now that we know the front, I can put the I can put these ones along it. Okay, that's that's a that's a good idea. I'll just do that, and then then we'll we'll call it a day. As I said before. All right. All right, the array is constructing. <laughs> I I was I was still kind of hoping. Oh my gosh, we don't even have enough solar cells for the whole thing. Oh man, this thing is is expensive. <laughs> <laughs> we have little nanites from Bob's flying everywhere. Oh my gosh, I didn't I didn't think I thought for sure that I just had a ridiculous amount of all this stuff. I do have a ridiculous amount of stuff, but not a amount of components. Which which makes sense. Okay. Back in here, grabbing more stuff. These are still taking one day, 24 hours, less than a day. Less than a day for these batteries to recharge. That's going to be cool. That's that's gonna be pretty awesome. I was thinking it's like okay, we might be able to get it down to a day, to a day, but it's still not done. Oh my! I think I'm just gonna stand here in the corner and let it let it let it build. Actually, no, I just might do a little little time lapse of it building. That might actually be pretty cool. At some point, I'll just fall from the sky, but I think that's worth it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and watch it finish building. Oh, yep, I did die. Uh, let's go see that panel. Oh, I want to see the shadow. You just can't see the shadow. It's 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 over the horizon. <laughs> oh, I'm in Frank. Very cool. I did fall. Body location's probably somewhere over here. Um, I don't see it. Hmm. Well, there was some nice drills lost. That wasn't the smartest thing to do. I did figure I'd be back quicker. But... Let's see the gargantuan panel. Oh, oh, yes. There's your comparison. That's like four of those. Four of the little ones. Oh, that's 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 wonderful. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and see how long the batteries have to charge. Let's see what we got. In terms of battery charge rate. Well, they're not... They haven't filled up yet. Six hours. We've gone from... Uh, it's, I've only been maybe gone half an hour. We've gone from, uh, taking three days to recharge, maybe four with the little guy. And, um, now it's going to take six hours. So we've significantly increased our power output. Wonderful. At least we got something useful done today. I accidentally ate up all the, all the platinum and, uh, I did manage to get back, though, without exploding or anything, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's go let the jump drive charge, shall we? <laughs> it's going to take, take quite a bit of power, but it'll also be okay. Uh, let's check these batteries. Oh, they're now draining. Oh, boy. Okay, we, 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 have, we have the power, though. We'll let the jump drive charge just in case we need it, and... Thanks for, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm going to say thanks for watching, but, um, see, thank you, thank you very much for 400 subscribers. That was, that was, that's, I did figure it would, 350 would kind of balance over to 400, because it was going up after 350, but, oh my, that's a lot of people. <laughs> thank you all for, for being here, and, uh, and welcome, and happy. Enjoy.